All right, good morning, everyone. Mike here with the National Weather Service Office in Cleveland. Thought we'd do a spooky uh, look at the spooky forecast for Halloween as we have a lot of events going on, a lot of interest on, on what's going to happen for Halloween uh, around the area. So let's talk about the weather, and uh, we got a very wet system heading our way. This look at the regional radar, or actually the national radar uh, network, and we're looking at a lot of rain heading our way over the next couple of days. We have the first initial round of rain that's going to be moving in later on this afternoon tonight and then the main storm system that we've been tracking for over a week now will be moving in uh, tomorrow afternoon to tomorrow evening so let's talk about uh Let's talk about uh, the most spookiest type of weather that we could see on Halloween across that area. Believe it or not, we've seen temperatures in the low 80s before. Some of the warmest weather that we've seen uh, was back in 1950 for the Cleveland area, a high of 82. The coldest, we've been down in the teens. It's been cold on Halloween. The wettest, uh, about a, a little bit over an inch, an inch and a quarter to inch and a third of rain. And we actually could see that uh, for tomorrow, uh, potentially some very wet conditions around here. Also, the snow. It's snowed on Halloween before. We've had uh, several inches of snow, depending on where you are. Uh, Cleveland, Erie, and even Youngstown, Akron, Canton have had several inches of snow before uh, on Halloween. No, we're looking at our forecast for tomorrow. Again, the main story that we're going to be really hitting is, um, hello, Bonnie. Thanks for joining us from Lakewood. Um, the main story that we're going to be trying to emphasize is going to be very wet and it's going to be very windy. So think about uh, that if you are making plans for tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. Uh, we are expecting a lot of rain, uh, maybe some embedded thunder, potentially, possibly, and then a lot of wind. So if you have outdoor decorations, uh, especially if you're near the lake shore, uh, just remember that it is going to be very blustery tomorrow evening tomorrow night into Friday. Uh, look, don't let the mild temperatures tomorrow fool you. So in the afternoon we actually may be in the low 60s but by trick-or-treat time we'll be quickly falling through the 50s and by mid-evening we'll be in the 40s with a strong wind 30 to 40 miles per hour wind chills uh, in the 30s and 20s so it's going to be very chilly and blustery tomorrow evening so make sure the kids are dressed appropriately under those costumes. So here's a look at the weather map for tomorrow again uh, not a treat for the eastern seaboard and the eastern part of the country anywhere along and east of the Mississippi River we're talking about a lot of rain a lot of wind even some snow wet snow on the backside affecting parts of the Midwest up into the Great Lakes region around Chicago but a lot of wind a lot of rain for the eastern half of the country high pressure moving in across the mountain west down to Texas that means uh, it's going to be uh, quiet weather for them but chilly actually cold for their standards and again out west in California they're having to deal with the wildfire danger and uh, the raging fires around Southern California. So locally we're looking at about a one to one and a half uh, widespread one to one and a half inches of rainfall with this system over the next couple days. Some areas could see up to two inches potentially. Now we're not looking for widespread flooding but we could see some nuisance flooding especially if leaves are cluttering uh, any storm drains uh, that may cause some minor street flooding or ponding. So be, be sure to over the next day or so if you could uh, try to keep your storm drains clear on your local streets there. So let me, I'm going to walk you through the time frame or timeline here, and you, you can see how this is going to progress over the next couple of days. So this is a look at one of the models that we look at. And so starting this morning, we have a little drizzle out there, a little mist, a few sprinkles, a lot of rain. In fact, I'm going to show you the radar real quickly. Quite a bit of rain uh, from Toledo down uh, into the Findlay area and even down into Marion County, Wyandotte County. We're looking at some rain moving in. i put this into a loop here. They put that a loop. You can kind of see that moving uh, generally into northeast fashion. So Sandusky over toward the islands getting rain, rain a little breezy, and that's going to be moving into the Cleveland area. I-71 here by midday, and then points east after this afternoon into this evening. So we will take a look at this model data and show you the progression of uh, the time here. Let me uh, get the clicker here to take that off. Okay, so here we go. We're looking at midday, still around uh, western, northwestern Ohio. A lot of uh, moderate rain showers coming down, and that will progress into the Cleveland area this afternoon, down I-71. As we head into this evening, most areas are seeing that moderate to light rain showers and some breezy conditions. going to be kind of cool and damp. And the rain will continue all night tonight, off and on, showery. Now, as we head into to tomorrow, the main storm system that we've been tracking will be uh, moving on out or moving in. And we could see just enough instability where some of this could be pockets of heavier rain, moderate to heavy showers, maybe an isolated thunder. Can't rule that out. 
given the dynamics of the system. Even, and that would be closer or east of the Cleveland area. Uh, east of the Cleveland area has a little bit better chance of maybe seeing an isolated rumble of thunder or a clap of lightning. And then as we look into tomorrow evening, so this is the tricky part. Um, we may what we call get dry slotted or we may get lucked out where west of Cleveland, actually the rain will end probably about uh, early evening hours. So along and west of Cleveland into western Ohio, it actually may just be cloudy, damp, and windy. East of Cleveland has a better chance of seeing scattered showers and moderate showers at times uh, through the evening hours and that will gradually taper off from west to east later in the evening. As we head into the overnight hours, uh, colder air rushes in tomorrow evening, and so temperatures will crash, and we will actually may see some wet snowflakes mixing in by overnight tomorrow night into early Friday morning, especially in the primary snow belt regions. Uh, looking up at Friday morning, a uh, band of some uh, showers, lake effect showers, or lake effect snow showers may be impacting far northeastern Ohio into northwest Pennsylvania. So let me show you the wind real quick. Again, this is looking at uh, the, so look at the model data and see uh, breezy conditions. Southerly winds can be kind of mild and humid tomorrow afternoon in 60s. But as that front moves in by mid to late afternoon, you can see this line right here. That's the front. Winds will shift out of the southwest and increase to 30, maybe 35 miles per hour. Gusts over 40, and especially along the lake shore. We're going to see those gusts about 40 to 45 miles an hour. And mariners, beware, gales are, gale warnings are in effect for the entire lake of Lake Erie. And so wind gusts over 50, 55 miles an hour likely over the lake with waves between 8 and 14 feet. Uh, areas along the lake shore will have the strongest wind gusts near the lake shore area, so remember that from uh, Toledo down to Sandusky, Lorain County, Cuyahoga, uh, Lake, Ashtabula, remember those areas along the lake shore will see the highest winds uh, because of the less friction uh, near the lake shore. Uh, further inland, 20 to 30 mile per hour winds are likely in some of the higher hills and terrain. As we head into Friday, again, the winds shift a little bit more westerly. The highest winds will be over the lake and near the lake shore, gradually decreasing by late in the afternoon. So I want to show you about the weekend. The weekend's also another uh, trick or treat type forecast. So if you're looking for some snowflakes, some wet snowflakes are possible Friday morning, but we're not expecting any impacts. We're not expecting any accumulations. It may come down at a pretty good clip at times, but the ground is too warm and temperatures should be above freezing when this happens. Now, as we head into to Saturday, we are looking at another system coming in, a little bit stronger system with uh, upper air dynamics. And so uh, the flow with this trough could set up where we could see a, a, a decent lake effect rain band or snow bands set up uh, Saturday night into Sunday morning. And this would be mainly for the primary snow belt regions of Northeast Ohio into Northwest Pennsylvania. Now we're not looking at anything overly heavy, but the snow may come down at a pretty good clip and temperature is a little bit closer to freezing. And so we could see several inches of snow possibly in our primary snow belts east of the Cleveland area and up into the Erie, Pennsylvania area, especially the higher terrain, could see several inches of snow by Sunday morning as this, as this band of snow comes off the lake. And again, that winds down by Sunday afternoon into Sunday night. So again, I just wanted to show you that if you're looking long term, we are looking at colder than normal temperatures or below average temperatures for the next six to eight to 14 day outlook showing way below average temperatures for the Great Lakes region and down into the Ohio River Valley. One last note before uh, answering your questions or let you go. Uh, this weekend is fall back uh, time, so we go back to standard time. Uh, we fall back from we, daylight savings time ends uh, at 2 a.m. Uh, Saturday night or early Sunday morning at 2 a.m. And we fall back one hour back to standard time. So uh, for, for some Loki folks, you get an extra hour of sleep uh, on uh, Sunday morning. Otherwise, uh, make sure you change your clocks or you'll be very early for Sunday services, Sunday morning, or any, any event you have during the day on Sunday. And that's all we have for this special edition. Just wanted to uh, give you a little heads up that we are expecting a lot of rain, a lot of wind uh, over the next couple of days. It's going to be very blustery and temperatures falling during the evening on uh, Halloween. If you have trick-or-treat plans or outdoor plans, uh, walking around or anything like that, make sure you uh, dress, dress accordingly. Don't let the milder air temporarily fool you tomorrow afternoon because temperatures will be crashing and the wind will be blowing tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. All right, well, that will do it for this Facebook Live edition. We will talk to you later. Thanks for joining us. Bye.